Okay, well, everyone, uh, first of all, I want to thank Hannah for doing a wonderful speech. I think this was her best for the Storytelling Project Annual, so good job, good job. Uh, and this, there was something vivid about this story. I had a beginning, middle, and end. Uh, there was a twist at the end. He gets, gets the collie. That's so sweet. Not collie dog. Collie. No worries. Um, it had a... It, it was drawn from something new. We didn't necessarily know what was going to happen. And um, you could tell when Hannah was moving into dialogue. You could have changed your voice to, oh boy, guy want to call me someday. You could have done something like that. And I recommend doing something like that for when you're doing characters in a story. But it was pretty clear, there was just enough of a change when you got into those things. Uh, some of the things that this project looks for are holding the interest. And she held the interest first by introducing the author and trying to get people into it. I'd never heard of the author myself. Um, but there was, like I said, beginning, middle, and end. Um, I think maybe the PowerPoint itself wasn't so necessary for the thing. You're allowed not to use a PowerPoint at Visual Masters. Uh, so if, if a PowerPoint doesn't work at all for a project here, just forget about it. Uh, but it did bring us in, and it did allow us the ability to um, get back to some of the points you've made in your previous speeches about visual imagery as a motivating tool. I think you found personally the ability to, to find a new theme or a new, uh, or new moral to that story, which I thought made it even more your own kind of story. Officially, you're supposed to use a new story. Not, you're supposed to, I think, make your own story, if I understand the project correctly. And this story was actually gotten from a book. But what you had done, although it wasn't officially what the project asked for, was you made that story your own. You found a Korean source, you adapted it, you added a few things here and there. You made certain choices that I'm sure were different from the original Korean story that you read. And it was engaging. You had basically made it your own. You sort of became, in effect, the author of the story. So I think that's fine there. And um, uh, that's all I have to add. So I look forward to seeing a speech at Yoido Toastmasters uh, because I want everybody to see that speech again. Uh, so Hannah, congratulations, and best of luck on the next time you do it. Good. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you, shaking hands, shaking. Oh, shaking hands. Yeah, I don't know, no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs>